not finish finish that stock. I killed I killed Nana at like 40 or 50 percent, and then I just could not finish that stock. By the way, any Sheik mains out there, if you want to give me that that young Icy's advice, I'm, I'm just hit me up, hit the chat up, hit everything up. Spread your spread the word about CO Smash. Spread the word about ATA. Spread the word about Dan. Um, I just want to thank all of them for doing this and making us a legitimate community, so we don't have to be off in the shadows. Upcoming, we got Silky Larue and Mumble. Uh, I'd say Cole's gonna go Icy's. That's Mumble, and Silky will be going Captain Falcon. Uh, he did make it to losers finals, I want to say, at the Foco tournament this last week. But he ended up losing to Wispy, who I'm sure ended up taking the tournament I left before before that happened. Let's see, I wonder where we're gonna strike to. Um, as Falcon, I would say, I don't know, Dan. Would you say big big stages benefit Falcon in the ICs matchup? Yeah, I would say so. And Dreamland, no surprise there. And right off the bat. Um, Falcon separating, trying to get that Nana off stage and kill her. Obviously, that's what the strategy is. And then, you know, in neutral, don't get grabbed. Ooh, good up air. That was a nice up air. Silky LaRue, um, I actually have only got to play him a few times, but he's definitely one of the one of the up and comers in the scene. So we got we got Nana killed, um, Falcon with a slight lead on the percents. Basically, this changes the way the matchup is played. You don't have, I mean, obviously you still don't want to get grabbed, but you don't have the threat of wobbling anymore, so you can play slightly more, uh, you can gamble a little more of your chips in neutral and go for a, a few less safe options and move around a little more freely. Um, definitely, definitely a good matchup for Captain Falcon. Definitely, and uh, he, Icy's got it rough and rough here, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is losers round three. Bracket's moving along pretty well tonight. Uh, what time is it, Dan? It is 9:22. Okay, so it's 9:22. That's not too bad. Ooh, jab, jab, up air, and that'll be the stock. Silky the Rue up a stock. Um, definitely very close to losing his, though. If one, one good F smash or one grab in neutral, and that's going to be the stock for Silky. I'd say Cole at this point is probably looking for a grab, and there it is, but he was not synced. Silky is definitely using the uh, how, how large Dreamland is to his to his advantage. He's dashing from side to side on the stage. He's, he's using the whole stage. Um, I, I used a little different strategy. Obviously, being Sheik, you would need to. I platform camped a little more. Uh, I don't think uh, Mumble's like that too much. He he wants to do his cool desync stuff and wobble the shit out of you. Oh, excuse my language. Wobble the stuffing out of you. And basically, when he wants to do all his cool icy stuff. I actually think Cole would be a very good icy's main. Um, I think it's his best character. I I did not see him play too much Sheik when I first started coming to Melee Mondays, but I'd say compared to his Mario, it's definitely his better character. Not only because of wobbling, but just because Cole actually does have a very good neutral. Um, he doesn't rely on just one or two options that everyone thinks makes icy's good. He, he uses the, the entire textbook. And we got a wobbly wobble going on. Silky LaRue kind of churning, but it's a very half-hearted churn, and wobbling is just so disheartening. It's a, uh, it's death, and it, it'll hurt your soul. Oh, teched it! Oh, that was, oh my goodness, living at 211, jeez. And that'll finish it, but still, that tech though. That tech though. I see a lot of Falcon mains in this matchup use um, side B to separate. I, I have not seen that. I don't know if that's necessarily optimal. I don't play either character, but I, I definitely know when it hits, it's it, it de devastates the ICs. And that'll be Nana. 
And let's see where we're at with Popo. Slight percentage lead for Silky LaRue still. Two stocks apiece. We got tech chases. Oh, missed the re-grab. Got a grab. Let's see what he does. That fails to follow through out of that. A little bit disappointing. Soft knee. Ooh, there, that'll be it. That'll be the icy stock. Soft knee to strong knee. The truest. So, Cole's down to his last stock. Game one. This will be losers, and it's best two out of three. So, if I was cool I'd say he's probably looking to play really safe and get a wobble like this right here here's his opportunity to tie the game hopefully he does not drop it or get another ridiculous tech from Silky and wobbledy 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 death for a second there I actually thought Captain Falcon lived somehow but uh no but we got last stock here Ooh, immediate stomp to knee on Nana. Immediately. Silky plays this matchup very well. I, I don't know if there's any Icy's Foco players? Foco Icy's players? But he, he seems to know, have a, have a general idea of what, what he wants to do against Icy's. That'll be Nana's stock. Oh, that'll... Ooh, I think maybe up air would have killed there. Because he would have gotten to an edge guard opportunity. Tech chase opportunity, though. Waiting. That'll be it. Well, maybe. Grab ledge. Oh, lucky. I thought Cole had ledge there. So that's 1-0 for Silky LaRue. Um, I'd say Cole will ban Yoshi's. Just because he, he'll, he'll want the room to move around in the bigger blast zone. I would assume the Silky LaRue will take him to Fountain or Battlefield. I don't think they'll be going to FD. Um, I just think that the platforms benefit the non ICs character a lot, and I just I don't see any reason counterpicking ICs to FD. I really don't. Battlefield. Oh, is Cole gonna change? Oh, he's gonna go chic. Okay, this will be interesting. I'll be excited to see this. I def this is definitely a good Sheik matchup if uh, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, obviously, the grab is the important thing. As Sheik, you want to tech chase the life out of them and take their stock off every grab if possible. But Silky plays pretty well against Sheik. Um, he, does, he does a pretty decent job. I have not seen Cole Sheik in a while. Well, no, I did play it in Friendlies yesterday, but I haven't seen it in a tournament in a while. And uh, it, this should be interesting. Ooh, nice back air. And that'll be death. I think he caught him out of his jump there. Maybe air dodged off stage. I don't know. So you got a grab and tech chase opportunity. No foxtrot. Jab down smash. Very nice. Always a good, always a good way to rack up percents. Tried to pressure with the fair. Ooh, trades with side B, dash attack. Waits, goes for the fair, misses. So we got, ooh, two stomps. Ooh, I think he might have tried to stomp again and got up tilted. So let's see, jab reset to grab. Ooh, forward throw. Not sure about that throw. Still gets the stock, though, on the uh, double jump fair. Ooh, nice stomp. Goes for the forward smash. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that that forward smash has a lot of lag, long startup time. Um, as a, as a non-Falcon main and non-Falcon player, I'm not sure which would have been better, but I just feel like there has to be a better option than forward smash in, the, in that situation. And... Ooh, he would have had it if he just stayed with ledge, but the reverse knee opened it. And that actually puts Falcon in a really good position, but... Okay. Because when you're Sheik, and I don't, I'm sure most people out there know this, but 
if you tell if you transform as soon if you kill the Zelda, if you transform while you're invincible, you lose your invincibility. So he did get an air out of it. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be the hardest read. That was so close. Ooh. Missed the bear, gets the need for it. Grab ledge. Goes the platform up air to knock him back. Now, if I am Silky LaRue, I am doing everything I can to keep him in that sheep transformation. And it looks like that's what he's going to do is pressure him, and that's death. So if I am him, I'm right on top of him as soon as he would do that. Okay, it looks like Cole's going to actually stay chic and be safe about it. And I don't know if this is just because for what, or if he just doesn't feel like he can do it safely. But he is got losing percentage on tournament stock very quickly. Silky Guru in a pretty commanding position right now. All right, he finally gets the transformation back in. Gets the fair. Ledge dash back, and that'll be the game. GG's. Good games to Cole and Silky Larue.